There are a lot of books on vector calculus out there, but this one is a little bit different because this one actually shows you how to do a ton of problems. It's called Calculus with Multiple Variables, Essential Skills Workbook, and it is by Chris McMullen, PhD. This actually has full solutions to every single problem in the book. This book is perfect for anyone who actually wants to learn vector calculus, whether you're already in a class and learning it or doing self-study. This book is an excellent addition because it actually has solutions and tons of problems. This book doesn't cover everything that you would see in a regular vector calculus book, but it does cover quite a bit. Let's take a careful look at the contents. So it starts with partial derivatives, the chain rule with multiple variables, extreme values with multiple variables, vectors, scalar and vector products, polar coordinates, spherical coordinates, cylindrical coordinates, the gradient, the divergence, the curl, normal and tangent vectors, line integrals, surface and volume integrals, center of mass and moment of inertia. And it has solutions to every single problem. Let's talk about the layout of this wonderful book. So it starts with a brief introduction to whatever it is that is being discussed in that chapter. So in chapter one, it's partial derivatives. It goes through and gives you some computational examples, talks about the notation, all of the steps are given. Here you see there is another careful example of a partial derivative. And then he gives you the geometric interpretation of partial derivatives. And he does it in this tiny little paragraph and he does an incredible job. So after you read the short explanation of whatever it is that the chapter is teaching you, you have tons of exercises and they're arranged in a really nice order. So here you have some easier ones. And then here you have some that are a little bit harder. And then here we have some second order partial derivatives. And then over here we have some mixed partials. And he follows that theme throughout. It's very, very nicely structured. Another thing I really like is you can actually write in the book. So if you choose to do so, you can take your pencil or your pen and you can write in the book. And to make things even better, he has full solutions. Here you see there are full solutions to every single problem in the book. This is a gold mine for anyone who is trying to learn multivariable calculus. So if you're in a Calc 3 class, this book is going to help you tremendously. Also, I wanna emphasize that a lot of the problems in this book are problems that you would see in an exam situation. So if you're trying to improve your grade and you're taking a class, this book is awesome. This is one of the later chapters where he talks about the divergence of a vector function and he goes through and he defines it and he gives tons of examples. Here he gives you the interpretation of the divergence. Let me turn the page so you can see more of the mathematics that is taught in this wonderful little book. And again, after you go through all of this information carefully with a piece of paper and a pencil and work through the examples, you have all of these awesome problems to do. So here you have to find the divergence of each vector function. And again, you can write in the book if you choose to do that. And then over here, you have to find the Laplacian of each scalar function. And again, you can write in the book if you choose to do that. And then here is a different problem. He gives you a position vector and he asks you to find the indicated quantity by working exclusively in spherical coordinates and then find the indicated quantity by working exclusively in Cartesian coordinates. Really nice. And again, you have solutions, which makes it Absolutely incredible. There is more variety than you think in this book. If you just look at the table of contents, you might be a little bit misled because he has different types of problems. For example, here, you have to find the scalar and the vector product of vectors. Then over here, there's different types of problems. You know, you're given the magnitude of two vectors and the smallest angle between them, and you have to find the dot product and the magnitude of the cross product. Here you have to find the angle between two vectors. So all of these are questions that you might see on a Calculus 3 exam. Some of the sections are smaller than others, but I'm still really happy that they're in this book. So here Chris does a really good job of introducing polar coordinates from scratch and giving you just a lot of information regarding polar coordinates. So if you're taking a trig class, this is something that would benefit you. You know, you could learn about polar coordinates. And then there's more examples here. And then as far as the problems in this section, um, they're pretty limited. So you've got some here where you plot uh, a point 
and then and convert, and then same thing here, convert and plot. And then here you have to uh, express each equation in Cartesian coordinates. So you go from polar to Cartesian, aka rectangular coordinates. So typical problems you would see uh, in perhaps a Calculus 2 class, uh, or perhaps a trigonometry class. Spherical coordinates are something you would see in a Calc 3 class, and Chris goes through and explains everything here. And in this chapter also, it's also fairly short, so he keeps it pretty brief. But again, it's really awesome that it's here. You know, if you have a regular textbook and you're learning this stuff, that's great, it works, but the fact you have so many solved problems helps a lot. Most textbooks, they'll have, you know, just a few examples of each topic in the actual book, maybe one or two examples for each or some of the concepts. Whereas here, you have the examples that Chris gives you, and then you also have all of these exercises with full solutions. And I think that's what makes it such a good book. 12 is on normal and tangent vectors, and this is a big section in Calculus 3, so Chris treats it accordingly. There's a lot of information here in this chapter on normal and tangent vectors. Let me just show you some of the things Chris does. The formulas are pretty, pretty intense. And depending on the difficulty level of the problems, um, the problems uh, that you encounter in a Calc 3 class could be quite long. And so you can see Chris spends a lot of time uh, on these chapters. Here's an example here where he has a position vector and you find the velocity, the acceleration, and then the unit tangent vector and principal normal unit vector at t equals two. So a very standard problem in a Calc 3 class. And look at how much work Look at how much work it takes, right? So having these detailed computations is really helpful. And here they find the curvature as well using this formula here. Yeah, here he gives you a tip. If this is particularly tedious, it may be simpler to apply this formula. You can also use this one to check your answer for self-consistency. Yeah, these problems, they can take a bit of time. Probably the best chapter in this entire book, in my opinion, is the one on surface and volume integrals. And I say it's the best because Chris does a really good job explaining everything here. So if you're trying to learn about this, the book is worth picking up just for the information found on these pages. Let me just show you some of the stuff that Chris goes over here. And all of this stuff is found in regular calculus books. Pretty much any calculus book on multivariable calculus will have this information. The difference is that when you get this, you're getting Chris's take on it and it's written a little bit differently than what you would see in a regular textbook. He talks about Green's theorem. Let's turn the page here so you can see some more of it. It's a very, very big section here. Talks about the divergence theorem, Maxwell's equations, Gauss's law, Faraday's law. I mean, just all kinds of mathematics that you might not have seen in a Calc 3 class for whatever reason um, that was. I know I always have a hard time getting to all of this and doing a good job because of all the content that you know you're required to cover. Some schools offer a calculus four class and, and that's when they cover this material. Here you can see some of the exercises in this chapter. Yeah, this is awesome. I mean, just what an incredible book. So many problems, so many exercises. It's just great. Look at all of these solutions. I really wonder how long it took Chris to create this masterpiece of a book. I mean, it must have taken forever to type out all of these solutions, right? Not just, not just explain everything in the intro sections and make the exercises, but then he had to go through and create full solutions to every single problem in this book. It's just a huge task. So check this out. This is really cool. When you turn the book over, you have all of these formulas on the back of the book. I love how he puts them on the back of the book instead of like on the inside cover or you know somewhere else. It's just really, really convenient. And you can take this with you and take a pencil or a pen and you can learn multivariable calculus. I mean, super happy I found this book. I wish I had a book like this when I was learning this stuff. Uh, it's just, I can't say enough good things about it. I honestly think out of all of the books, out of all of the books that I've looked at by Chris McMullen and I've looked at several, this is the best one I've seen so far. I have not seen a better one. I think this is better than his single variable calculus book simply for the fact uh, that the content it contains is harder for people to learn. It's harder to find these examples in other books and Chris has them here. So yeah, awesome book. Definitely recommend it. It's incredible. Good luck.